why do we study continuity and differentiability? Now, most functions studied in mathematics, physics and engineering, they vary continuously or at least they're assumed so. Most real functions are continuous on practical scales and thus in our day-to-day -day life, our intuitive assumption is everything is continuous. We assume continuity very frequently without even realizing we are using it. Take for instance movies, which in reality are a series of still images running at a speed usually at a rate of 24 frames per second. But based on our immersive sensory stimulations, we take the movies or TV shows as continuous. We now know that energy, which was assumed continuous for a long time, is in fact quantized. Some modern theories even consider the quantization of space and time. At this point, no one knows for sure whether space-time is continuous or discrete. Even in our day-to-day -day life, we come across so many discontinuous functions and we deal with them without even realizing they're discontinuous. Say for example, the acceleration of the car or the stock market fluctuation. So we are living in a world that is both continuous and discrete at different levels. The mathematical study of continuity was developed to comprehend the implications of unexpected jumps when the function is discontinuous. Over a while, a large set of theorems and tools were developed for continuous functions, which have a broad application. Another important concept that is fundamental to calculus is differentiability. Differentiability as rate measure and slope of tangent leads to the concept of differentiation, which is crucial to almost all the applications of calculus. A class of differentiable functions is inherently distinct from the class of non-differentiable functions. Akin to continuous functions, many important theorems such as Rowley's theorem and Mean Valley theorem are available for analysis of differentiable functions. Differentiability is a stronger requirement than continuity, which is needed for many, many results. Whether it is function in calculus or life per se, we have to deal with them when they are continuous and smooth and also when they are discrete or sharp. Life and functions are a series of natural and spontaneous changes and the ultimate human endeavor is to understand them and that is why we study continuity and differentiability.